Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John here. Just a quick tire update. I'm gonna take the, uh, it's fall here in Oregon. We're getting lots of rain. It's wet up in the mountains. So I wanted a tire that would uh, clear mud well. I've been running the, the D-Sport, Tusk D-Sport Adventure tires. Um, I recently put a new one on this wheel set right here uh, because the uh, other one, I had a, a broken spoke. I had to remove the tire anyway. So I um, thought I might as well throw a new tire on. Um, anyway, this has about 350 miles and I have someone who can use this tire, so I'm not just gonna trash that. But anyway, um, this, this tire holds up pretty well on pavement and I liked how it performed on trails and, and light mud and everything. I really, this is really one of my favorite tires right now, that Tusk D-Sport tire. And you can see it, it protects pretty well. It holds up, the compound holds up pretty well on, um, on the pavement, 350 miles, it really didn't wear much, so definitely worth putting on another bike. Um, but for the mud and lots of, I found that if I went in a mud section that kept going, a long section, where being able to self-clean became an issue, then I found this would get, a, especially the front would get a little slick. Uh, and it worked great everywhere. I, I liked everywhere, uh, except for if mud kept going, I found it would start to get, I felt like I would, I was gonna, you know, getting a little, getting a little slippery. So um, I changed out. I've always wanted to try these, um, trying some golden tires. And you can see just totally different lug pattern here. And I'm gonna take this on a, some single track today that's really muddy. Um, I'll, I'll try to link some footage up um, to this video um, to, to have some of that. But here you can see very wide space knobbies. And, and, and this isn't bad, really, quite a bit of space, but I, do, I did find it packed up if the mud kept going. So. I haven't tried this tire, can't even comment on how it does, but it looks, it appears that it would uh, would do well. Just got a Dirt Trick sprocket on there, so I'm excited to try that out. Balance the tires, awesome videos coming. I got a Tusk tire balancer. It's so easy to get these weights um, to, to balance tires. I'll, I'll show how to do that. It's really not hard at all, but um, so more to come on that. But we're trying out these golden tires there. I just wanted to show the profile, what they look like from behind. Very. Very wide, beefy tire. Um, it looks like it would melt away on pavement, which is why I'm gonna take the minimum pavement necessary today. Um, mainly gravel, and then, then trying to make my way to some single track. <clears throat> so here's the front. <clears throat> I wanted to show you the front profile, how it's different. And again, I like this front, Tusk front tire, but for what I'm doing today, just sloppy, muddy, everything's gonna be sloppy, wet, and muddy. I thought an open tread design would be better, so. Um, this is the fat, the fat tire, golden tire, the, what does it say, 90, 121. Um, and again, that's 90, 121, but they look really good. Um, hopefully they work good. I think they will, just based on what I'm, what I'm seeing. I'm running 20 pounds because I do have to go down the highway. I know I have rim locks. We could run lower than that, but I don't want to mess with a pinch flat. I'm riding there and I need to ride back. I, Meeting some friends there, but I really don't want to mess with a, a repair. I'm going to be carrying a little gas. I'm going to carry some gas in, in my backpack again with uh, with this this thing, and then I'll fuel up when I get there because um, the capacity on this is a couple gallons, which is just a little low. But anyway, just a little clip on the Golden Tire, um, what it looks like compared to the Tusk D Sport. My experience with the Tusk D Sport tires has been very good. I like how they hook up on everything, but mud and they do okay with occasional mud i did run these through quite a bit of occasional mud being here in oregon but today it's pretty much gonna be all mud so um you know gonna keep these on here gonna run them again but um excited to try out these golden tires so i'll keep you posted i'll include some footage attached to this um so that we can see how they hold up feel free to comment on um, your experiences with these tires golden tires um, golden tire or um, the Tusk D-Sport tire. Um, I love to hear everybody else's experience. I think we can all learn from each other, so feel free to chime in. So on the pavement, these uh, definitely feel a little more squirmy, but they're knobbies. That's what I would expect, and I didn't buy these for the pavement, but the Tusk D-Sports definitely feel better on pavement, but we would expect that looking at just the tread design. So um, just, just something to consider. Don't buy golden 
tires were pavement, and I didn't, so I'm not disappointed at all. Not a con, just just something to be, be aware of. Being real careful in the corners, and, and just want to track around. Or not me. Look at this beautiful morning. Up in the mountains here. Sun coming up. Ooh, ice in that mud puddle. Uh, wow, snow in the mountains in the in the distance there. Wow, this is this is great. And these tires are working awesome. I just they feel like they're just marshmallows that are just connected to the ground somehow. And now you know you can see there's I've been on gravel. This is kind of muddy. Back to gravel and uh, grass, frozen grass on the edges, and so far feeling good. I'm just winding my way up. Wow, that is gorgeous. Fog layered in the valley. That's the fog we were in. Now we're out of that. Fall colors. This is one of the reasons I think most of us ride is the adventure, the adrenaline of riding combined with the beauty of nature and being being out in it. We're up here in the forest now. Went from pavement, they did okay. Gravel did awesome. Soft stuff like this, they're hooking up really good. Yeah, great tires. Um, one con is if you're short like me, they do give you a little extra height out of your bike, which is fine. You know, once, you know, but we're getting on and off, I did notice it. So just, uh, you know, if you have longer legs, it won't matter. But if you're a shorter guy like me, a 30 inch inseam, you might, might notice that. I'm heading up to a place called Elk Flats. I'm just taking the back way to get there as opposed to taking the highway. So uh, I'll be driving some of those trails around there today. A little bit of water and foliage down to get there, but we're just move on my way there. These tires feel great through all this stuff. I mean, it's actually very deceiving that uh, I'm going through all this kind of terrain because it just feels fine. Going slow through the water because I got to drive home too. I don't want to get wet yet. I've even done a little bit of snow with this. With these tires, here's a little crossing here across the middle of the highway. Feels good, cuts right through the, the snow. It's just a skiff, so. So far, so good. The highway, golden tires past the uh, skiff of snow. No problem. And um, haven't made it to the single track just yet, but I work my way that way. But it's, they're, they're connecting up. I. I haven't had a problem slipping yet, and I've had been on over sticks and slush. This is kind of just slush snow that's been here, the least preferable kind where it's froze and, you know, gotten wet and refroze. So that normally this is the stuff, whoop, almost uh, lost the front end there. So uh, it's doing, they're doing well, but, um, you know, better than a lot, a lot of uh, tires would on this. I think the D Sports, I'd be really struggling right now. But truthfully, I haven't had the D-Sports on snow, so uh, can't tell you for sure, but it's pretty slick stuff through there. All right, now we're back to gravel again. Man, this is a great trail. We're trying out these new tires for the first time. These golden tires, they feel really good. Roots and... Rocks and well, I can tell I already like this bike. Oh yeah, that's that's a really nice bike. Oh, I'm glad I took off some of my layers. Woo, I'm working now. Ooh, that one's soft. Yeah. snow a little more single track here couldn't be more pleased with how these tires are working
little bit of snow. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I've been through here before. Uh, I think I've gone up this way. Oh, a little mud hole. Man, these tires are like glue. A little lip there, throttle off it. Or single track. Lots of needles, mud. Tires still hooking up real well. There's some boulders in the middle of the road here, guys. Boulders. Okay. okay. You can go around them, just go high on the corner. Ooh. Trail's looking real good. After those boulders, it's nice and clear. You doing okay, Trent? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Beautiful up here. Yeah. I'm loving what this. Nice day. Oh man. It's not even raining. It doesn't even feel like it. These tires are no odd. There's no wind up here. It's nice. No. Glad I shed my extra layers. The trails are pretty good in here. I'm staying high and then dropping in. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had tires this good before. From the back, they look like they hook up so good. Yeah, they kind of like, they spread out. They flatten out, kind of. Yeah, they're like fatty tires. They're just like marshmallows. Yeah. This is the best tire, hands down, I've ever driven. And oh. your back your back end doesn't look like it uh, slides around at all. It doesn't. It just hooks up. In this sloppy stuff, I don't, I don't get it. I'm staying left. There's a pretty deep rut here. Almost like you couldn't have fun with that tire, like if you wanted to. Yeah, no, it. I you know what I'm talking about? Like, you couldn't. It looks like you can't even break it loose on a corner, hardly. No, I tried to, to it, drift in a corner. Like my old tires, I could drift. Uh, yeah. 
I can't drift with this. Yeah, it looks like it just hooks up. It does. These are these trails are awesome. You've never done this one? No. I didn't know. I, I don't really know where I'm at. Front end almost slipped there. I was getting cocky. These tires. You okay? Have, these you tires, okay, Trent? Yeah, okay. right behind you. Okay. These tires give you such good traction, you get cocky. So I gotta calm it down. Crossroads. What's that? Oh, yeah. It's crazy. There's a boulder after this corner coming down the hill. A little boulder. Okay. Yep. Kind of snuck up on me. See it, Trent? Yeah. Right behind you. Honey. We got a little hill climb here. Get on the gas. Man, this gets great traction. Did you make it up, Trent? Yeah, I'm right behind you. Good job, guys. is cool. Little downhill. Wow. I should have my GPS tracing this so I actually know where we're at. <laughs> so what's funny is, like I said, we've gone with them before, but I, I don't pay attention to where we're at. I'm not I here. <laughs> I've been up here and I still don't know where I'm at. I've been up here quite a bit. Oh no! <laughs> Did you see me do that, Trent? Yeah. I missed. Uh, I missed a gear. I, went, I hit neutral. Oh. And I, went, and I and I went back down to get it, and then I looked. I lost it. Yeah, nothing like a false neutral when you don't want it. A few branches down, but you can go around to the right pretty easily around them. Stay right. 
Oh yeah, stay right, Trent. Hug it right. Stay right. Coming, Trent? Yeah. Everything okay? Yeah. Gordon, how are you? Great, how about you? Doing awesome. Good day. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, you too. Thank you, yeah. Make it through there, Trent? Yeah. Somehow. Everybody okay? Yeah. Cool. Doing okay, Trent? Why is this thing so hard to start? Do I need to wait for you? I got it. First stop, Trent. First stop. First stop. Good job. Cool, Chad. I'm getting some film of you on the 450. <laughs> I turned on my GoPro. Did you see me almost hit the tree? Yes. <laughs>
scoot up on the seat. Scoot up forward. Throws me back. Some branches going left. Okay, we're almost back. Uh, they're my favorite tire. They uh, do everything well. Uh, I, I love them. They do they do everything so well. Uh, they I did mud, gravel. The only thing I'm not a real big fan on is on pavement. But you know I didn't buy these for pavement, so that's fine with me. Um, they did everything. They did a great job. I really d didn't. Very confidence inspiring over roots and rocks and ruts. I did it, this. We did it all today. Um, I guess something to keep in mind is I was the only dual sport with that group. They were all dedicated dirt bikes today. And the little 350 uh, S, FE 350S did great. I was able to ride with them. I think I was the only dual sport up there today. So, uh, I think that says a lot about the 350 and also about these tires. So, definitely a fan. Great tires. Highly recommend these tires. I think these are the EN uh, 333s or something. Anyway, I'll I'll post something in the, in the comments or the link in the description under the video about what tires, golden tires specifically these are. But man. I did everything today. They never let me down. Knock on wood, I, I didn't wreck. So they did everything that they were supposed to do. And they did it well. And we did we did dedicated off-road riding. There wasn't anything today that we, we didn't do that we were going to do. And uh, it wasn't easy conditions. We had a lot of little snow up here. And it took down a ton of branches, as you can see. Um, but these tires did it all. Very, very, very happy. The fact that I had traction when I wanted it, and I didn't didn't get let down, didn't wreck. I, I, that's to me huge because I really don't like, don't need to have an accident because of loss of traction. If I have a wreck because just sometimes that happens, fine. But I really don't want to do it because I didn't have enough traction, and I was kind of concerned about that. Trying new tires on a a ride that I was going to be knew is going to be difficult but it did fine so very happy the Tusk D Sports I think would have done pretty good especially the back but the front on some of that stuff the front just gets a little slick for me uh, in those kinds of conditions uh, when it's really wet and slimy So yeah, on my way back, this is where I started my ride. And now I'm working my way back home. These tires not only got me here, but they're they're getting me back. That's why I love dual sporting, is you can get out here, ride up there, and now I just ride back. It's so nice. Of course, the only downside is if I were to have a problem up there, it would be a real bummer on how to get back, but I always kept that in mind when I'm riding to hold a little bit back so that I don't have a such a high-speed wreck that it would damage anything too much. So just something to keep in mind when you're on a dual sport doing some, some trails and things. But it's, I think it's great that I can drive this thing up there and ride it home. Pretty amazing. It's such a beautiful fall day, too. Wow.
and the fog's broken up a little bit, which is nice. 